Hey everyone, it's Desi Chang, and today I'm gonna to be reviewing the iFootage round base monopods, as well as their magic arm, which they call the spider crab. <laughs> So if you are a YouTuber or a content creator just like myself, I would highly recommend you guys looking into these products just because I have been using them for my last few videos and in fact, I'm actually using them right now to film this talking head piece. I have the longer version right here attached to the spider crab with the clamp and that's used as my boom mic as well as I have right here. Um, this is the shorter round base monopod version and it's great because I can set it onto a tabletop. I can look straight into the camera. I can literally just grab it and walk around. Uh, it's yeah, it's very versatile. So let's start talking about the RBA200 tabletop monopod. And this one has two latches, which helps you extend from 10.5 all the way to 22 inches. And this thing is quite compact as you can just unscrew the bottom plate and you can kind of pack it away into your bag. So it is a very nice, compact and mobile setup. At the very top, it does have a built-in uh, spring-loaded screw mount in there, so you can mount on different types of video heads or photo heads or anything like that. One thing to note is it doesn't come with a head, so you will have to supply your own. So this setup is gonna be perfect for YouTubers or vloggers, just because you can easily pick it up, start vlogging, start talking and filming, and when you're done with it, you can put it down onto the table. And if in case you have a table that is, you know, at the wrong height, you can easily just unlatch the latches, pull it up, lock it into place, and now you can start vlogging at eye level. And so this piece of equipment is very, very useful. And it just, it literally just took a few seconds for me to adjust. So moving on over to the RBA300, which is the bigger brother to this one. This one has a minimum length of 24 inches and extends all the way up to 59 inches. Now, right now I've been actually using it in conjunction with their spider crab magic arm with the clamp and I've been using it actually to record most of my YouTube audio. I've been using it to replace my boom arm just because you know it, it is a smaller footprint and uh, I really, really enjoyed it. Now, one thing to know about it is that if you're gonna be keeping it on a hard surface, you know, it's not bad, it's pretty stable and it's okay. You don't necessarily need a weight on it, but if you are gonna be putting it on carpet, it does get wobbly. So in that case, they, iFootage has also sent me over their um, little water bag here, which is a weight, and it's great because it has a hole in the middle that you can actually loop through um, this, uh, the pole, or sorry, the monopod arm through it, and you can just fill it with water. The great thing is this thing weighs practically nothing, and you can fold it up, and you can crunch it up and shove it into your bag instead of bringing around a sandbag. And when you arrive on location, you can just fill it up with water, it takes like a minute, um, or less, and then, uh, yeah, you literally just gotta loop it through the leg and it acts as a sandbag weight to it and it'll make it much more stable. And it comes with a removable spigot so you can mount your own lighting. Okay, so let's talk about their spider crab articulating arm. So overall, I feel like this is one of the best and highest quality um, articulating arms I've ever, you know, come in contact with. Now, the problem about most magic arms and is that they sometimes twist or they'll give way. But this one actually can support up to six kilograms, which is a big camera if you needed to. But the other great thing about it is that it actually has a quick release system. So instead of just like screwing the arm into your accessory, it actually has a quick release system. So when I unlatch it, there's a safety button that I have to press to release it. And you know, that's just the quick release right there. You snap it into place, you latch it, it's locked, it's not gonna twist, it's not gonna come out. Undo it, press the button, it comes out. Um, it does have this kind of proprietary quick release system. And the great thing and how it prevents it from not uh, twisting is it actually has locking pins in it. So when you're using an iFootage accessory, the pins will lock into it and it won't twist. 
But what happens if you're using a different accessory that doesn't have those locking pins? No problem. Actually, those pins are spring loaded and they will go down. Um, now, the other great thing is, okay, so what happens if I have like a larger or smaller screw thread? No problem. Built into this, it is a spring loaded, um, spring loaded uh, screw thread. So you can change or you can screw this into various sizes of your accessories. So this, even though this is proprietary, but this will fit onto literally any accessory or camera or monitor or light or whatever it is that you want. And on the opposite side of the articulating arm also has that same quick release. So you gotta unlatch it and you gotta press that safety release and then it will come off and to put it back in, it just snaps into place and you gotta latch it and it is rock solid and it will not twist at all. The only thing I don't like about it is like for me to loosen and tighten it up, it takes like almost like 10 turns before I can actually fully loosen it up to articulate however, you know, I, I want it. But I mean, whatever, you know, position I want it in, and once I actually do tighten after my, you know, you know 10 turns-ish, it is rock solid. So iFootage does supply this little cold shoe adapter so that you can mount one of these quick releases onto this and then you can mount it onto your camera or anything that has a quick uh, cold shoe uh, adapter plate. However, from my experience, even though I hand tightened it uh, to a tight you know, setting, I was still able to, with force, pull it straight off. And you know, to me, that's not safe and not secure. So I feel like this could be much improved. And my suggestion would be to not use this, um, but to, you know, this thing works great. Screw it into like the cage of a camera or an actual screw thread hole, but do not use the cold shoe adapter. So overall, I'm very impressed with the build quality and just the functionality of these pieces. And if you are a YouTuber or a content creator, I would definitely highly recommend you guys looking into these. Anyways, if you've enjoyed this video and you want to see me do more reviews just like this, please like and subscribe and definitely don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Desi31.